BBN Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Hey, before the video even start, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. All right, so basically it seems that in a in a really more toned down, less, let's try to kill people type of protest situation, you had a group of, I guess you could call them to be white nationalists because they didn't act like terrorists as far as I could tell. There's a difference. So these Canadian white nationalists went and uh, disrupted a more, I don't know how to say that, ceremony in Halifax. And um, these are the gentlemen right here. Let's give me a little more second to see they are. It was actually five of them. The thing about these gentlemen is they are all military. They are all military. It was five of them. Um, four of the five Canadian forces personnel who said they were members of the group, the Proud Boys, and disrupted a Mike, a Mike Moore ceremony in Halifax on July 1st have resumed their regular duties. The only reason why the other gentleman has not resumed his, resumed his regular duties is because he voluntarily left the forces. It was in it was already on underway before this whole incident happened. It was already underway. He did not, you know, get forced out due to this incident. He was already had his paperwork in to leave. So yeah, that happened. So um, they say no criminal charges or demotions. Be, um, they went there and it seemed like they protested for the most part like a protest is supposed to be. Something is happening. We don't agree with it. Now, look, I'm not on their side. I'll tell you what they're protesting in one second. It's not that I'm on their side, but I am on the side of reason. If you don't like something and you want to protest against it, you should have the right to say that I don't like that and we're going to have a civil protest against it. Whether I agree with your position or not isn't the important part. The important part is is that you're not there causing disruption, yelling and screaming, trying to get into fights with people, bringing weapons. Like, all of that is insanity. Um, so, like I said, four to five are still in the military. And uh, the other gentleman, he left due to the fact that he was already on his way out. Right here says, uh, but they've been put on probation because you got to watch these guys. Because at the end of the day, they have people lives in their hands. And if they're, you know, showing any type of favoritism. See, that's what the big thing is. And this is what uh, people are consistently fighting about as far as the U.S. justice system and the police in America is concerned. It's about treating everyone fairly. That's what it's about. It's about not uh, being able to arrest people not because they've committed a crime, but because you've just chosen that you want to disrupt their life. You've just chosen that there's too many of these people free, and you want to either put some of these people in a grave or in prison. That's what the problem is. That is what the problem is. So, um, Newman said the members are experiencing personal setbacks and personal consequences in their units and in their community. So, um... You know, there's probably been some other underlining reasons in which of course for them to do these things because they're trying to say, look, this couldn't be, you know, not a situation in which where this is, uh, you know, customary of our uh, service, servicemen and women. None of the men received emotions or were moved as a result of their behavior. Newton said being on probation limits them and what they can accomplish professionally. So basically their careers are stunted. Obviously, you can't put these guys in a position of authority over other people because of their uh, belief systems and what they might allow to pass, which not, which most likely is not going to be part of whatever the uh, preferred, the preferred cr criteria of how their military system runs itself. So, you know, these people, we are going to allow for them to serve our country, but at the same time, we don't think that their moral standings or their um, their viewpoints are the same as our viewpoints to the degree that we could allow for them to be in charge of other individuals and then thus push their viewpoints on others. Speaking of reporting, Newton defends the military's action, saying 
this is not lightweight punishment. This is non-commissioned members who are early in their career have remorse. They're not commissioned and they're early in their career and they're not going to move further up in the ranks. This is a permanent mark on their mill on their, on a member's record. Any trespass against those conditions, any repeat leads to their release of the Canadian Armed Forces, and it's a good potential depending on those circumstances will lead to their release. So if they do anything close to this again, they're gone. Now, what were they um what were they uh, protesting against? General Cornwallis is a uh was a general is it General Cornwallis? Well, anyway, there was a stat statue of Edward Cornwallis in downtown Halifax, and they were there to, uh, and there's people that want his statue removed, I guess. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it has something to do with the atrocities that he committed against the indigenous people that live there. And these five men that's clad in their black polos went up there, you know, they dressed the same, and, you know, that's a good look. <laughs> not for nothing, we know who's who. And they're busy trying to protest in favor of the statue and in favor of the belief system that General Cornwallis, or Edward Cornwallis had when he um, had put a bounty for scalps, you know, basically sending bounties out to have people kill as many of the indigenous people in the area so they could obviously take over the area. So, uh, he was a governor of Nova Scotia. He was also a military officer credited by the British for founding Halifax in 1749. So obviously these people, um, the people that's surrounding there are actually, you know, talking about the atrocities that this man had committed in his name and then had it committed in the name of Canada. And they're against the killing of the indigenous people while the guys that you see just in black with that flag right there are saying that it was a good thing and they're there in benefit. So the off-duty members was carrying the Canadian flag, the Canadian red flag, red insignia flag, and announced they were members of the Proud Boy Maritime Chapter. See, that's what is probably the main thing that these dudes is trying to prevent from happening. They don't want people part of any kind of chapter. <laughs> <laughs> maritime chapter and creating this inside of their inside inside of their military there i'm a hundred percent sure that the canadian military is against this right here especially against the public knowledge of such a thing existing on facebook the group decides itself as a fraternal organization of western chauvinists okay who will no longer apologize for creating the modern world okay that's what you call it. Newton said the servicemen's involvement violated the military's code of conduct. Under the Queen's regulation and orders, personnel conduct section, members cannot be seen or heard by members of the public doing anything that could reflect that could reflect discredit on the Canadian forces or any of its members. I have heard their side of the story, Newton said. It means nothing. <laughs> What was perceived by the public is what matters. No matter what they thought they were doing or what was going to occur, it was not what occurred and that they have to bear responsibility for and they do. So basically, these gentlemen have ruined their military careers. They might as well, basically the military is saying you can't go any further than you already are, you might as well leave. It's basically what the military is saying. You're not going to go any further in the military. You're not. You're going to stay exactly where you're at, which is a, um, just so I can make sure that I get this right. You're going to stay exactly where you are in the military, which is uh, basically, where did I say? Accomplished professionally. Well, basically, they're not really part of the military yet. They're, they're right in the beginning of getting to be part of the military. So, they made some really bad choices. Anyway, uh, like, comment. I want to know what you guys think about this. So, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Um, that's all I got on this one. I love y'all. And I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated.
whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.